Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to set up your own Minecraft server and we're going to make it public so you can just play with your friends or leave it online for a long time or just a short amount of time or turn it on and off whenever you want to. So uh, let's get ahead and get started with that. The way I'm going to be doing this process, I'm going to be doing this process on two virtual machines. We're going to be two Linux machines, uh, one's going to be the where the actual server is going to be running, and the other one is where the actual tunnel is going to be running off. So we're going to first do the server part. So first though, what we, what we need to do is basically we need to download the server jar. So here, we're going to go on the Minecraft site and download just the jar. So it's going to do like this, it's going to copy the link. From here, I'm gonna open the terminal. Then it's just gonna download it. wget. Let's just paste it there. And let's just download that. Just give that a few seconds while it downloads. Okay, once it downloads, we're also going to install Java. If you don't have it installed, you can just download this Java version. In my case, I'm using Debian. So you're going to download, in my case, would be Linux 64 Debian package. So just gonna copy this link here and do the same thing. Wget, paste the link, give that a few seconds to download. Okay, now that we have that downloaded, we're just gonna open it up. Okay, here's the file right here, the dev file. So we're just gonna go ahead and and install that package. sudo apt install dot forward slash j tab enter. Now let's just give that a few seconds to install. Okay, so that's installed. We have Java already installed. To check it, just put in Java slash version. And there it is. Sweet. Now let's run the jar. So it, the command for this would be java slash jar and the name of the jar in this case would be server jar and i'll run that now just give that a few seconds to start it will start up the minecraft and it's not going to start properly because you need to accept the terms and condition as you can see here fail to load the eula text file you need to agree to it so that's all right now if we clear this back we open it again the directory we're going to see new files created so we're going to open up this file. So from here, we're just going to uh, open, use a text editor, nano, and go to the Eula, with that to load. Now we're going to change this from false to true. Now, control X to exit. Save the modify buffer, yes. Write it, enter. And now we have it started up. Now we're just gonna insert the same command again. Java underscore jar server, and it should load us the server up. Now we're going to get that a few seconds to load up. It should take around maybe 10 seconds or eight seconds to load the server. If you do do this and you get the ones with mods, it will take longer for the server to load up. Okay, so there we have it. So it's loading up right now. Now let's just get that a few more seconds to load up. So that part is loading up, that's great. Okay, done, okay, perfect. So it says it took 22 seconds for the, the server to load. Now to check where the server is hosted, you're going to check the IP of your machine. So I'll just put in IP A. My IP for the machine is this one, 172.16.100.107. And the server port would be this one, 25565. So we're just gonna go ahead and open our Minecraft launcher. I have it right here. And we're going to launch the Java version. Just give that a few seconds to load up. Okay, once this is done, we're just gonna go ahead and multiplayer. It says here it's gonna it's just scanning for local, but it will never find it. You need to actually add it manually. So from here, I'm just gonna add it. 172.16.100.107. And the port number, which was, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna double check again, 25565. 25565. And I'm gonna click on done. 
Okay, and there it is. So it's running right now. If we go and log in, we should be able to log into a server. And there we have it. We're actually logged in. But right now we're logging only locally on the server. We're not actually public, public, publicly. So you can just do anything you want. You can even change the settings you want for the game. So I'm just going to log out of the game. Disconnect. I'm going to leave that there. And actually just to keep this different, this one is going to be the local one. Local server. And the other one is going to be the remote server, which we're going to make right now. Next to that, now we're going to go back into the uh, where my virtual machines are running. So now we can do tunnel. This is running. And as you can see here, it actually showed up the username that I have here and the IP of the machine and the port number that I gave it. So now this, we will just leave that open. We actually don't need to close anything else. But here's one thing. Whatever you do, do not close this terminal because if you close it, you're basically shutting down your server. Now that that is done, we're going to go to our other virtual machine, which is just going to be focused on running the tunnel to make this server public. Now to make it public, we see us need from the server side, the IP, in this case would be this one, up where the game is running and the port number that we're going to be using. We're just going to leave everything default. Now that the server is running, let's go ahead and make it public using a tunnel here with another virtual machine that I have set up. Okay, now from here, I'm just going to open the browser here and we're going to type in and we're going to log in to playit.gg. Now from here, we're just going to download the agent. In our case, it's going to be for Linux, but it also has for Windows, Mac, and some plugins. So we're going to install this. It's going to copy this command, go back to the terminal. And just to check, uh, we actually need to check if we have curl and gpg installed. So sudo apt install curl. Okay, we did not have it installed, so let's just skip that a second while it installs. As soon as that's done installing, we're also going to install the other one, as I mentioned, it will be gpg. All of these links and commands will be in the video description below. Now that it has installed, let's go ahead and install this one, gpg. Okay, looks like it is already installed. Perfect. Now let's clear that. Now let's, in, let's copy and paste the command that we just copy. Now paste that. Now let's just give that a few seconds to load up and install everything. Okay, there it is, it's installed. Now, all that we have to do here is just type in play it. Oops, play it. Now it's going to do like an auto run. Okay, here it is. So that's going, it's generated this link. This is this link to set it up. So it says control left click, open down the browser. Now waiting for the engine to connect. As you can see here, I already have a, uh, an account set up. So you will need to log in with the account. Okay, it looks like it did claim it. Perfect, done. It's waiting to connect. Okay, perfect. Now that part is set up. Now to create the tunnel. Now from here, once you get over here, you're going to select the tunnel type. And in our case, it's going to be, going to be Minecraft job. Select that, add the tunnel, leave everything else default. Okay, now that the tunnel is pending, now, what we need to do next is go back to the server and we need to find the IP address, which was earlier, if I was not mistaken, it was the one ending 107. I just want to double verify that. I open this again. IPA, yes, 107. Okay. So from here, okay, so it's running. Now let's just uh, bind it to that IP. 172.16.100.107. And for the port number, it's just going to be the default port 25565. Let's update that. Now that that's updated it, now everything's already set up. The tunnel is running. As you can see here, it already has the port here, where it is located, and the address. Now you're just going to copy the link. Let's copy that. Now once that's copied, it's going to go back to the Minecraft launcher, multiplayer. You can see this is the local one. Now we're going to add another one. This is going to, so I can just have them different. This is going to be the remote one. Paste that there. There's the link. I'm going to take that off. Let's put it like this. Click OK. And it should be pinnable. OK, there it is. So I'm just going to check this again. Edit. This is the local one. And the remote, which is what we added here. Now we can just log into this. And there you have it. Oh, I don't know why that's cutting off, but I gotta fix that. 
But there you have it, guys. Now you're literally already uh, running a Minecraft server outside of your home network. So you can just basically do whatever you want with this. Uh, in my case, I just mostly just run this with my friends whenever we want to play something. And I'll just leave it online if we want to change our world, edit anything that we want. And just mostly have it more private. You can also do it locally with a you know, additional mod packs. But if you just want, want to do it by yourself without doing any additional steps with Minecraft, then this is a way to do it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was easy to follow. As always, guys, I thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.